Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about primary keys and why I chose UUID v7 for my latest side project, which is DeetCode. So just a quick background, DeetCode is an algorithm visualizer for JavaScript uh, where you can debug and visualize lead code problems. There was an article circulating around the coding community recently about uh, the problem with using a UUID as a primary key in MySQL. The key takeaway was that the B tree rebalancing on inserts can hurt insert performance. So that made me a bit paranoid about choosing a primary key, and so I kind of looked into it, and this is what I found. But just as a disclaimer, I'm not a database expert, I'm just a developer. The first option is to use auto increment primary key. So one of the pros of this is that it is sequential, which means that you don't have the problem with the B tree page splits. And also it just takes up less storage than a UUID. However, it's not universally unique, which means that you could have dupli duplicate keys across tables and databases, right? So that's kind of a, a, a big con especially if you have to write scripts to sync data between databases, which is something that uh, I do pretty often. The second option is UUID v4, so that you get that universal uniqueness. Uh, however, it does suffer from the B tree page split option, which can hurt insert performance. The third option is UUID v7, so it's universally unique, but it is also sequential because first part of the ID is based on timestamp so that uh, you're always going to get a sequential ID so that you don't have the problem with the B tree page splits. So the fourth option is an honorable mention because this was one that I considered. Uh, it's called type ID, which is universally unique. It's sequential. It's base 32 encoded double clickable, and it has a prefix so that you can tell uh, which table it belongs to just by looking at the ID. And it is based on UUID v7. So here is the repo for type ID. And you can see that it is a type safe, k sortable, globally unique identifier inspired by Stripe IDs. And then you scroll down, you can see that it is based on UUID v7 and it's 32-bit uh, encoded, and it looks like this. So there's a prefix here. So I tried it out, and I think it's you know fairly straightforward. However, it does add a little bit more overhead because you have to remember to add the prefix to each of your models, and then there's also that possibility of human error. Um, so I just preferred the simplicity of just using UID v7 for everything because then I could just call a single function instead of having to remember the prefix. But you know, if uh, the DX of the API, the public API you're designing is important, you know, you might want to choose type ID instead. So I just did a really light benchmark just to test out you know some of these different primary keys where I just inserted 100,000 records, uh, which is super small scale, but I just wanted to see the difference. So here was the result. So 100,000 records for uh, auto increment took about two, mil uh, two minutes. Uh, UID v4 also around two minutes. v7 also also around two minutes, and type ID which is also around two minutes. So at the small scale, you're probably not going to notice a difference in your performance. It's probably only at the super large scale where it starts to matter that uh, this isn't that v4 isn't sequential anyways that's the conclusion i came to and i ended up going with v7 and in case you were interested this was the package i ended up using so here is an example of uh, me using uid v7 in my deep code project and so you just have to uh, call the function like this as a default function and this is drizzle orm by the way also, uh, here's one of the reasons why I like and prefer to use UUID instead of auto increment is I can do things like this. I can just write 
an upsert pretty easily with either Postgres MySQL, you know, you can use a on conflict update or on duplicate key update, and it'll work, right, across databases. But with auto increment, it gets a little bit tricky because they can, you can end up with a different ordering uh, in between your databases. So uh, it just adds more complexity. Auto increment makes things harder to do. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I prefer UUID. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, what do you think? Um, what do you guys use? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.